everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're having a lovely day now it's that time of year where i'm going to be showing you my christmas stroke winter candle collection now some of these are probably some scents i had in autumn time which i haven't got through but i want mainly these are christmas scents and some of them are from hanging around from last year so i wanted to go through with you what i've got i've got some from bath and body works quite a few from dw home yankee candle Audi, um, Kringle, and who else? Swan Creek. So let's just dive right into what I've got. What? And I've got Colonia, Colonia, Colonial candle as well. So what shall I go with first? Da, 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 da. Let's just go with the ones that are right in front of me. So the first candle I have is Vanilla Cinnamon from Wax Lyrical. So not Colonial candle. Sorry, I meant Wax Lyrical. So this is this one. I've never burnt any of these candles before. So it's quite a small one and a little tin style i'd probably do this in my bathroom i think because it's quite small let's see if it tells me a weight on here no weight i'm sorry no i can't see a weight on here which is it just says up to 25 hours let me just double check i can see it just says this classic illustration of vanilla flower and cinnamon uh, that's about it really um top notes of clove heart notes of cinnamon and base notes of tonka so yeah no size no weight on there which is a bit naughty but anyway so it has i believe just a one wick so it's just like that does smell very nice actually more cinnamon than vanilla more yeah, actually you get like clove then cinnamon then cinnamon then vanilla yeah i'd say the top note is definitely clove definitely definitely and quite strong so i might burn this downstairs but my room is quite large just don't know if it'll be big enough but i got this reduced last year at christmas time so that's that one i definitely won't be able to get through all of these either i know it's just impossible so i need to maybe burn the ones which i didn't get through last year first the next one i have is from audi and this was reduced i believe or it was really really cheap which is why i picked it up it's called christmas cookies really cute little tin jar as i said i don't know how this one will burn it's maldi i haven't had the best experience with some of their candles it's one wick doesn't have a weight on here and let's just have a look it's just looks quite nice so nice bright white wax still wick is not 100 percent by my eye centered it's a little bit off and this is a very soft vanilla cookie it smells like to me more vanilla than cookie you get like a vanilla bakery to me so that's that one it's a medium on cold sniff not sh too strong okay this candle here actually is one i have left over from dw home it's a maple hazelnut and this doesn't have to be for christmas time it could be autumn or whenever you want but i thought it was pretty um holiday season appropriate i got this in tk maxx it was 2.99 you can see there I hate how they put their labels on their jars but it's a nice goldeny colored glass jar one wick and does it have a weight on here i'm not too sure it does but i'm not going to bother looking for it right now but this smells gorgeous i think i bent another one of these before and it smelled so strong had it in my bathroom and it really was beautiful so really warm hazelnut creamy scent perfect for holiday season to me okay the next candle i have is winter candy apple from bath and body works i got this from i think it was the scented candle heaven when they were having a reduced sale last year i just wish i could find bath and body works in the uk where it wasn't extortionately expensive so oh trying to get my lipstick on there a very sweet slightly artificial sweet kind of candy apple so you get like the sweetie scent with the apple in there it's nice i'd say quite strong i say on the higher end of medium i do like how this jar looks it's one of those um sort of masony jars I do think it's quite cute does it have a weight on here it just says a cheerful yuletide blend of candied apples and spiced orange zest and a touch of winter musk now i don't pick up on the orange obviously the sweet candy apple and a little bit of musk in there but i don't pick up on the orange okay the next candle i have here is from oh, this is huge isn't it goose creek <laughs> so yeah this is a goose creek candle i thought this was kringle for some reason but it's not it's goose creek and look how big that one is i haven't tried on their tumbler jars yet actually this is in christmas cookie so as you can see two wicks i think it looks quite nice i quite like so i've got a bit of sellotape around it still oh my goodness so i think the jar looks quite nice do you think i think it's quite nice and let's have a whiff this isn't as strong actually as some of their other candles a nice creamy cookie on a um, cold sniff like a butter creamy cookie and i'd say what does it say about the weight on here this is 22 ounces quite a large candle so i'll see how that goes I said not as strong as some of their other candles i've 
burnt, I've burnt loads of goose creep and coal sniff, so we'll see how this one goes. Okay, my next candle is, I really picked this up recently in TK Maxx and I think it looks lovely. It's in the collector range from DW Home and look how cute that looks for a start. I think that looks really lovely in Christmas. See, I'd probably leave the label on because I think it looks really cute and it is in cinnamon bun. And this was six ninety nine. so what a good deal. Really heavy jar. That's the one thing. This is a Xado. This is a glass jar. Super heavy. Two wicks in there. The other candles I've had have been really good. They've only been small though. They have suited a little bit, so I'm hoping this doesn't suit too much. Does this have a weight on here? Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Um, 15, just over 15 ounces. So quite a lot in there for 6 99 I couldn't miss up. I mean, look at that. I think it looks so lovely for Christmas with the little bow around it. I think it looks lovely. And really strong mainly i wouldn't say it's like a it's not as creamy and as bakery as i'd like you may just pick up on cinnamon with a real slight undertone of bakery but for me you know i love my bakery scents but i still wanted this because it's so strong i love cinnamon so i can't wait to burn that one okay the next candle i have is another one from dw home and look how large this looks it's like a really wide candle and this is 7.99 and this is in christmas morning so this actually it's funny actually this is dearer than the other candle i showed you and the other candle actually has more wax in it but i wanted to try one of these ones because this is three wicks and let's say see the way here 12.82 so just under 13 well that was 15 ounces so let's have let's how it looks like inside you've got three wicks there quite nice and evenly spaced and this to me very strong when you first open it up it smells of coffee with a cocoa and hazelnut really strong and you know what? i've not it's very very coffee scented like christmas morning coffee it kind of smells off but yeah the christmas coffee with a nutty christmas coffee with a slight kind of cocoa cocoa scent even and yeah i can't wait to try this one actually gonna melt it up more towards christmas time and i reckon as this is um three weeks i reckon it'll burn super quick so I'm looking forward to that. And again in TK Maxx, if you're near TK Maxx and you want to try some DW Home, go in there because there's such good prices at the moment. Okay, my next candle I have here is Sparkling Icicles from Bath & Body Works. I want to say how beautiful I think that looks. I think it looks gorgeous. I love the lid on the top. Absolutely love it. And oh, I love this scent. Really, really do. It's like a icy winter's day like slightly pine with cologne in there with like the cooling fresh of the fresh air outside as well so let me just with slight citrus undertone as well let me just tell you what it says for the description on the bottom a sparkling as sparkling and ice glitters under the sun this fragrance features citrus bouquet bouquet bergamot and a touch of holiday moss so yeah i really did pick up on the citrus in it gorgeous scent really really gorgeous really strong fresh and lovely Okay, another candle I've got here from Bath & Body Works, which I thought was good, especially for holiday season, is Party Dress. Um, again, I picked these up last year. Nice looking candle. Nice sort of embossed lid. And three wicks again. Nice kind of bluey, purpley coloured wax. More purple. Comes out more blue on screen, but it's actually more purple in real life. And this is a nice one. This would be good to sort of burn more to after Christmas. More maybe New Year's eve kind of time musky with a slight undertone of cologne um yeah kind of like a, a soft musk with cologne in there it smells of to me so let's just and sort of a little bit of perfect florally as well so let me just read what this says an unforgettable blend of orchid petals billowing white peony and soft jasmine that's fitting for any celebration so quite strong as well so i'm looking forward to trying that one out okay Another candle I have here from Bath & Body Works is Mauled Cider and I love how this looks. How cute is that? Really, really cute. Um, let me just double check something. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I think this looks, this is in their Winter Market collection as well. It's a few years old, three weeks. Gorgeous for this holiday season. Oh my God, this is so strong. Gorgeous. All the spices you'd get in like a apple cider you really pick up on the apple with the cloves cinnamon nutmeg um you get like a brandy in there as well to me anyway so let me just read the description on the bottom this the recipe for your new favorite winter drink fragrant notes of market fresh cider fine apple brandy and cinnamon sticks so absolutely gorgeous probably my favorite out of all of them so far and i can't wait to try that one super strong as well 
Okay, a candle I have here isn't necessarily for Christmas, but I thought it would be good for Christmas as well. It's warm cinnamon buns in Swan Creek. And look how big this is. This is so huge. And I do like how it looks. And it's like a screw on lid. And this is really, really heavy. It's in a really heavy glass jar. And it is, trying to see the weight on here for you, 24 ounces. So a massive blinking candle. And this is what it looks like inside. It's quite different. And it's in like a mason jar. So if you wanted, you could you take off this label and use this jar afterwards, which I probably would do. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It's more creamy and bakery than it is cinnamon. You do also pick up on the cinnamon, but it's more like a cinnamon icing. So it's like an iced bun with cinnamon, really nice warm scented iced bun. It smells absolutely gorgeous, really strong. Hoping this burns okay because it's a funny shaped jar. Only one wick, we will see, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. And I have another candle here. Sorry, I had to get out a shot to get the candles. I have another candle from DW Home again, which I picked up the other day in Gingerbread Cookie. Again, I thought it looked absolutely cute. It's gorgeous, so cute. Again, $6.99, really good deal. Um, two wicks. This is from TK Maxx. And I love how this little gingerbread on the front is. I just think it looks really cute. And yeah, this again, was I think it's just under yeah, 15 ounces, just over 15. So... This is very strong, very gingerbread. You really do pick up on the ginger scent here. Again, not as bakery as I'd like. You may just pick up on like the gingerbread scent, which obviously is gin like bakery, but it's more of a, the ginger than you get the bready bakery scent to me. Really, really lovely though. I'm really looking forward to burning this one. And I hope these burn okay, these DW candle ones, because I do have a few of them. And, oh, sorry to get out of the shop, but I had nowhere else to put my candles. I've had this candle now for so blinking long. I've got to make sure when I get through to start burning, which will probably be in the next week, I need to burn this one first. But I love how this candle from Yankee Candle looks, season of peace. How beautiful does that look? Absolutely gorgeous. And really strong and cold stiff it's like a cold you get i'm talking too fast <laughs> Ooh, you're moving too fast but anyway you get one wick with this lovely gorgeous crisp white wax and it is 623 grams in their festive collection and again i so sorry about that my camera just died on me run out of memory oh so anyway i was just talking about this yankee candle so to me this smells of like a winter white musky kind of scent a bit like the body shop i'm sure there's white musk or something similar a perfume like that in there with the undertone of like peppermint in there yeah nice gorgeous musky scent with the undertone of um, peppermint in there not strong or real faint scent it's like it's just so gorgeous and lovely i just hope it burns well so that is all of my big candles. Let me just move these out of the way, that one out of the way. But I have a few, let me just show you. I have a few um, little votives, votives, which I'm gonna show you as well. Some of these I actually got from Audi and some are from Yankee, I believe, I can't remember. So anyway, the first one I have, I'm gonna put these in the mixology disc, disc, dish. Oh my God, I can't speak, I think it's. So I've got apple pine needle. Smells lovely, appley piney. Um, merry marshmallow, this is quite a faint scent from Yankee. Yeah, very, very faint, so I'd probably put that in with something stronger. Another Merry Marshmallow, put the, probably put these together in my Mixology dis, dish. Oh my God, it's like three, you can put three sort of candles in there together and you sort of mix the scents up. This is Frosted Snow, so it's a little bit old from Yankee Candle Simply Home. Smells lovely though, lovely, fresh, um, sort of balsamy pine kind of scent. This is Frosted Spruce from Audi. So I can't actually smell too much on that one anymore, not gonna lie. I have here spiced orange from Audi. They do look like Yankee knockoffs, don't they? Again, I can't smell anything of that one. <laughs> and I have another frosted snow from Yankee. So that is all of my sort of wintry kind of candles. And I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Got through it in the end. Uh, I won't get through all of these, I know, but I'm gonna start off with the Yankee. I've got to start off with that one because I've had it for so blinking long. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new and give me a thumbs up. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.